Hello everybody, hope everything is fine and everyone is safe and good. So in our first video we talked about how to model our curtain and animate it in a very simple way to have this result. And in this video we are going to talk about how we will align our curtain to the opening we have even a door or a window to have a realistic movement and a smooth animation so let's see what we have here okay first of all I animated another curtain with a different wind uh, forces with a different power to have a different movement with the curtains and the third curtain I didn't didn't add any wind to it so the result will be like this as you can see the yellow curtain moves in a different way than the pink one so I can put them together to have a little bit different result okay so now I will add them to the, to the scene I have and this is my scene an open bathroom with an open terrace outside this is a small test render to see the colors and the lights and now I will align them to my to the opening Okay, now I will add this study curtain to the part where the window is closed. Okay, I will bring the yellow one to here. And the pink one to here. Okay, and for the result, perfect. So, I will give them a curtain material from the Corona library. Let's say fabric curtain. Just like that. Okay. Now I will hide them for the first step. I will hide them. I don't want them for the first render. I will go to render setting, render setting and I will set up light mix. Why? To have render elements by all the lights in in the scene so i can turn off all the lights later on in the editing video and on the editing stage just like that so we can control every light in our scene just like that okay so for now make sure you set up all the light mix and you can rename the lights to control them easier and and it's better to make our size a little bit bigger so if you render about on the HD scale I think we can put it let's say 220,000 like this so we can zoom out or zoom in in our shot so I will make my size like this I will go to denoising and put it corona high quality just like that Okay, and I have the render elements just like that 
and I will render it now and after and after it will finish we will render the curtains by itself so I'll be back with you when the render will be finished Okay, after the render has finished, this is the result we got. As you can see from the render elements, I can turn off all the lights that I, I want, just like this. So from the render elements, we can make a night shot. Okay, so we can make a night shot on plus that day shot we made. Okay, so now I have to save all the render elements. So I will go to save all and make render. Okay, I'll make day shot. okay after after that I will change some setting and turn off some lights to make a night shot then I will save it as a night shot you can see the resolution it's pretty nice I think okay now I will try to make it a night shot I will turn off the corona sun or I will decrease the amount make it like that okay, I'll decrease the environment just like that try try to uh, to memorize the amounts so you can use them on the render for the curtains Okay, I'll increase this for 10. Okay. So I will decrease this. Okay. This. Check with light, I will increase it. For three in direct I will increase it for let's say three yes fireplace for five maybe ten yeah it's nice okay I can no I want it darker okay let's say 0.3 And I think that's it. Let's change direct light. Mm, no. And yeah, let's change some blooming layer. Maybe more. And okay, I'll try to save all the elements again here for night shot. Okay, PNG and save. Okay. Okay, after that, I'll try to save this setting let's say in here ok 
Okay, passes under my shot. Okay, save. Now, now I will rest. I will rest them. All one. Okay. After that, I will unhide the curtains we previously made, just like that, I'll replay them to see the movement of them, perfect. Okay, now what we have to do is, we will go to render setting, okay, and I will choose from scene, I will choose the mask, with it, which is viewport selection so so now the program will render only the selected items okay this is the first step then i will make sure the size is to be the same as the original image and from performance i will go to uhd catch catchy and i will choose animation to, to use the flicker free okay and I will uh, set a limit for the pass limit as for five so it will render only five passes for every shot so it will it won't take a long time okay and make sure to select clear VFB okay so now when it will render all the image will be black and only it will render the curtains moving now I will set a range let's see the movement from here I will set a range between let's say 300 okay range from 300 to 450 okay and for 450 cool and from here I will save the file in this bathroom render I will name it uh, day curtain okay just like that and save yes okay and now I can render about 150 frames And I'm back after about uh, nine to ten hours rendering, just rendering the curtain. And I don't think really I got the result that I want. Uh, here we can see the frames, about 150 frames, and we can see the movement of the curtain, just like that. So now after we finished the file. We can save it and close it and this is the result we had with the render elements and with the curtain frames and now we will set and now we will edit the picture in Photoshop To prepare them to import them to Adobe Premiere or After Effect doesn't matter and that's all for section 2 we modeled the curtain in video 1 in video 2 we prepared the file and rendered it rendered the scene and we made the animation of the curtain and now in section 3 
we will talk about how to edit the images and how we will import them to Adobe Premiere and edit them to have the result that we are seeing right now. So see you in section three. Goodbye.